Warning, this video will be totally lost on you if you have not seen the movie Talladega Nights. Hello and welcome back. I am Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports in Westfield, Indiana, and you are watching Marksman TV. Today's video is a tabletop review and comparison of the Mossberg 590M Shockwave. The 590M is the one that takes a detachable 10 round magazine. And the Mike Honcho, we are not too sure uh, where this is made, uh, probably forged by Baby Jesus himself, uh, but very rare, very elusive, and we are just uh, really pleased to uh, have a uh, have this here to show you. And uh, after this, it'll probably end up at the NRA Museum, but while we had it, we wanted to go ahead and do a comparison with something of uh, a little bit, this is a little bit of a, of a representation of something run of the mill and nothing super special, uh, but then we have it compared to a My Concho. So starting off as always, we are going to move from the back to the front and just do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So if you are ever fortunate to get your hands on the My Concho versus a Mossberg 590, you will have an idea of what to expect. Anyway, if that sounds interesting to you, let's jump into it now. One of the things that makes these unique is the fact that they are not NFA SBSs. They do have the sort of semi-pistol grip, if you will, that keeps them away from being a short-barreled shotgun. If you put an actual pistol grip on these, then you're talking NFA territory. So, actually, interesting enough, the two are very, very different. This is basically molded off of the contours of a 1969 Chevrolet Cheval Malibu. Uh, really wonderful ergonomic fit. It just feels, feels phenomenal in the hand. Better than any competition 1911 handle or anything like that I've ever experienced. You just sort of, you grip it and you just feel power. Um, on the Shockwave, you just have, it, it sort of, Reminiscent of like a uh, an unshaved femur bone from something stupid like a mountain goat. That's kind of how that feels to me. Now moving into the receiver, very very simple standard receiver. Uh, you will notice these little cutouts here on the bottom of the magazine. Well, that is of course so you can fit in the 10 round magazine. The reason I chose this one is so that it kind of has a little bit more firepower edge to kind of somewhat compete with the Mike Honcho. But anyway, uh, you can get different magazines. You can exchange those or whatever you want to do. Keep in mind the magazine release is here, and here's your slides, uh, your uh, pump uh, release lever. Uh, I'm sorry, back here. <laughs> For a second I thought I was dealing with a Remington 870, I guess, but anyway, there's that. Now the finish on this is a very dull and just kind of run-of-the-mill blued type, or uh, sort of like a blackened oxide finish. I'm not even really too sure. It doesn't really quite matter. A very utilitarian. So on the Mike Honcho here, we do have the very iconic tricolor, the blue, the red, and the white from the Old Spice uh, logo, which we do have here. This way you do know it. it is an official uh, Mike Honcho, especially there's the name too. Forgeries have been made, but one way that you can definitely be sure that this is a real Mike Honcho is this red color is actually derived from the blood of a cougar. And don't worry, the cougar gave full consent uh, for the production of this one-off shotgun. But the finish on this is incredibly durable. Um, I mean, you could run this thing as fast as you want. That finish is not coming off. Uh, one, really one of the best firearm finishes around. Unfortunately, Cougar Blood is very expensive, so they did spare no expense when they put together the My Concho. Now, the blue is just a standard Cerakote, and as for the white fill, I am not too sure. Uh, that's probably cocaine powder. Now, one of the best things about the My Concho is you don't really need ammunition. Uh, if you hear an intruder, there's the two things you can do. The first thing is you can just go ahead and pump the shotgun just like any other shotgun. It'll have a similar effect, but they won't really know that they're dealing with a Mike Concho until you basically summon Cal Naughton Jr. You do that by basically saying, I spread my butt cheeks as Mike Concho. And if you get that, it's clearly written here on the side. Now basically that will summon Cal Naughton Jr. who will show up like a ninja ready to defeat evil samurai because he does like to party after all. Also, if you're tired of your gold digging wife, he'll take care of that for you too. Now with the Mossberg 590, you can say I spread my butt cheeks as my concho all you want until you're blue in the face, nothing's gonna happen. You do have to go ahead and chamber that round and continue from your 10 round magazine. If you're lucky, you will be able to, to uh, you know, defeat the threat or anything you have going on, but I cannot guarantee that it will be with the level of efficiency as would a my concho. 
Now on the Mic Concho, if you do want to go the less lethal route, you can go ahead and shoot some 12 gauge slugs or double op buck or anything you want at your assailant. Now one good additional thing about the Mic Concho is they will shoot 150 screaming eagles at your attacker, but again, I would not use that lightly. I would go ahead and just use the 12 gauge double op buck. Now, if you are interested in picking up either of these two shotguns, the Mossberg 590 shockwaves do typically go between about $350 to $450. The 590M will go for about $50 higher, respectively, to be able to take those magazines. Now, the Mike Concho, there is only one on the registry. This is a registered destructive device, and that does retail last sold at auction at $21.2 million. So probably the most valuable firearm on the market uh, like I said, um, I don't know when this will go up for sale again, but uh, if it does, I would definitely look out for it. Now, this should not be handled lightly, and if you are going to purchase this, I definitely recommend that you definitely know what you are doing, and uh, hopefully you have seen the movie Talladega Nights. In all seriousness, before I lose too many subscribers over this video, what this is is the Honcho by Charles Daly, and I have, <laughs> I have an awesome customer who just basically sees the potential in firearms that he purchases, but he purchased a used honcho. He was a fan, much like myself, of Talladega Nights and decided to make it the Mike Honcho. So he added the name Mike, added the Old Spice logo, did of course all the coloring on this to make it the Old Spice colors, put the Cal Naughton Jr. silhouette here, his number of his race car, number 47, and of course we would be remiss if he did not include I spread, I spread my butt cheeks as my concho. I never thought I would say that as many times in a single video, but anyway, there you go. I, like I said, I am a huge Talladega Nights fan. It's probably, if I if I had to rank all of the comedies that I've ever seen in my life, Talladega Nights is definitely in the top three. That's just such a funny movie if you've never seen it. He told me that he was putting this together, and uh, of course I said I have to have that for a review. Now this was intended to go up on April 1st, but he, uh, you know, they were just a couple days behind on getting this taken care of. If you are in the Indianapolis area, the gunsmith who braved the task of putting this together was Zach over at ZR Tactical in Noblesville, Indiana. So it takes a special kind to see the artistic value of putting something like this together. So he definitely did all the craftsmanship on... Uh, it's actually very well done, and uh, and it is one of a kind. It will be going back to uh, my uh, customer's collection, unfortunately, but he does all sorts of fun stuff like this with firearms. He's you know, sort of makes tribute guns and stuff like that, and, and one-offs, that's how he enjoy firearm, that's how he enjoys firearms, so, you know, everybody has their own way of what they do with collections, but I wanted to show you guys that in sort of a uh, tongue-in-cheek video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you on this. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more content like this, I would not blame you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button. Again, I just opened up an Instagram account, so if you want to go see photos of some cool stuff we're getting in, go follow me at marksman underscore TV on Instagram. But I will leave you with that. I am Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports in Westfield, Indiana. You are watching Marksman TV, and I will see you next time. I just wanted you to know that. If you could hear me, if it got into your brain somehow, that I spread my butt cheeks as Mike Honcho.